On behalf of the YWCA Berkeley Oakland Board of Directors and our team, I'd like to give a heartfelt thank you to the Berkeley MLK Breakfast Committee for this Community Action Award. It's truly special to be honored for our hard work, particularly uh, in, the, uh, in the name of Martin Luther King Jr. Our YWCA has deep roots in Berkeley. We were formed 135 years ago at UC Berkeley to serve as a resource for female students. Subsequently, we moved into Bancroft Way in order to serve the broader Berkeley and Oakland community. We advance our mission through programs and advocacy efforts that are rooted in fighting oppression based on gender and race. And uh, these programs advance our mission to eliminate racism, empower women, develop leaders, and promote peace, justice, freedom, and dignity for all. Our advocacy efforts are deeply rooted in the spirit of unity. First and foremost, we believe in education programs. We take an intergenerational approach and register first-time voters, and we create educational resources to inform the community on the upcoming ballot issues. In partnership with the YWCA USA, we lead an uh, annual racial justice challenge that is focused on meaningful conversations about race, reform, and justice, and how to examine s power structures that perpetuate systemic racism. It culminates with weekly discussions, discussions where, we can, where we can come together and build community. Beyond that, our aim is really to be a resource and to uh, address and dismantle systemic racism. We advocate for reproductive justice for women's and health rights, and we do this through a variety of ways of uh, educating uh, the, the community about upcoming legislation, hosting um, health care rallies, hosting uh, education series based on menstrual equity, and um, serving as a resource um, for the community overall. We also host a variety of uh, clothing drives, um, toy drives to benefit uh, domestic violence survivors and the unhoused. So we have quite a few programs that engage our Berkeley, Oakland communities. Uh, we're really focused on financial literacy, working with teens and with adults to make sure that they're equipped with the necessary financial tools to start or continue a path that best suits them. So we work with domestic violence survivors, high school students, and other young women. Furthermore, our workforce development programs, which consist of career coaching for adults and also career coaching and professionalism skills for students, really allows people to take that next step in their pathway for their life, whether that's with financial freedom or in just making sure that they can step into a career that they know they deserve and that can take them to that next level in their life. So a lot of the times this means either one-on-one -on -one career coaching with our YWCA on-site career coach or going into high schools and working with seniors to make sure that they're ready with their resume, they have cover letter skills, they have the professional and personal skills that are necessary for an interview and really allowing them to broaden their horizons beyond typical route of college and beyond what they learn in the classroom. Once again I'd like to thank the Martin Luther King Breakfast Committee for this incredible honor. In the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, what affects one directly affects us all indirectly. We cannot do this work alone and we encourage you and invite you to join us in this movement to transform our communities.